Hello, Slayers! The Knock Knock Knight is back in the game. And this time I need to talk a little bit more about this little tickle, this little issue in this game of Diablo 2. The PKing thing, right? I mean, <laughs> I knew exactly what was going to come when I released that recent PKing video in Diablo 2 Resurrection uh, Hardcore, of course. I knew it and I even stated it multiple times in the video. People went crazy in the comments, um, in the rating of the video, of course. They got triggered all over the place, they got mad and lame and how can you possibly do that that all of this okay i knew this was going to happen but anyways i want to talk about this a little bit further and having that said i'm pretty certain that 95 percent of all people who are like commenting on this and they're going getting outraged they don't even play hardcore i'm pretty certain about that they don't even play hardcore what they should have been doing but <clears throat> that's a different topic how can I talk about honor and whatever, I, I'm the worst and I got what I deserved and blah 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 blah. <laughs> I have really got a good laugh from most of the comments. But let me dive into when people are saying, or many people were saying, that, um, that this is like a low move, a red move and you know all this, you're lamer, how can you do that, you're... Killing uh, unarmed people basically, and you know, they have no clue what's going to happen, and they are not geared for that, and blah 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 blah. I don't know if we are on the same page here, but people, you really have to understand one thing, okay? And that is this is core game mechanic for 20 years. Let me let me repeat that for one of or a few of you experts out there hostile and like fighting against other players without their agreement or without any area specification or regulation this is core game mechanic for 20 years that means the original creators of this game and any team after them they wanted this and they want this exactly like it is in the game you do realize what that means, right? They know what's going to happen. They want this going. Or they want the option to have that. I, I'm not stating here if this is whether or not this is mean or low or whatever. Maybe, maybe this is not nice, obviously. But I just want to remind, give you a friendly reminder here: PKing, hostiling other people, and fighting against them, even without their acknowledgement is core of this game from the get-go, okay? Deal with it. There is no special areas where you can hostile players. Again, you don't have to acknowledge um, when other people want to fight against you. These were all easy fixes. They could have been done on any day for the past 20 years. It never happened. Because these people, and especially the original creators um, from Blizzard North, they knew what is what a good game is about and this is an ultimate important factor the excitement it's dangerous um all of this stuff like this they knew this is important for the game just i want to just make this completely clear again and here is one from the gallery <coughs> for all the specialists amongst you again mr david brevik again who i recently uploaded another video about Mr. Brevik, the godfather of Diablo, the inventor of Diablo, or Diablo the, uh, the lead game designer of Diablo 2, the lead programmer of Diablo 2, Mr. Dave Brevik, he recently, a couple of days ago, stated on his Twitter website, on his Twitter site, that the original idea of the Diablo franchise, Diablo 2, was it that there is no softcore. I repeat that again also. For a long time, Diablo 2 was created in hardcore only. And he had uh, other people, besides from David Brevik, they overruled him in the middle of the development of the game because 
they knew exactly about the whiners, about the pussycats, like most of the people in the comments here about the PKing video. They couldn't stand it. Or they couldn't stand it if they are losing a character. Or they're going to mommy, mommy, I was dying in the game. Me, me. And that's why they actually made hardcore an optional value later on in the development progress. But if it was after Dave Previk, because he is the genius guy he is and he knows what is a good game about, he was creating the game as a pure hardcore mode with all the other things I already mentioned, like hostiling other players anywhere, everywhere, without their acknowledgement. And I just hope you can think a little bit further what that is going to mean and what this means for like PKing other players and that this is actually, again, an important and wanted part of the game, period. Then the other thing I would like to address shortly and briefly is that this is not honorable, okay? Because I was talking something about honorable and the people have a fighting chance. And um, yeah, I'm still, I'm still saying that. I'm still true to my word here because everything I do, and I did this or uh, um, I did this like 15 years and 18 years ago, um, playing the game already back then, or doing the same thing, hardcore people, um, hostiling players, PKing players. And yes, of course, I'm dueling as well since 20 years, basically. If somebody really wants to have a duel and hardcore mode, feel free to, to, to send me a comment. Uh, we can have that. No problem. I'm dueling you. Um, what do I mean when I'm saying people have a fighting chance? Well, they do. Okay, they do. Anything I'm doing is basically the game, okay? I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm not using any exploits or cheats or hacks or whatever magical tricks. I'm pressing the button to hostile another player. Then I leave the town either through a town portal or using a waypoint or just leaving, um, yeah, leaving the town, having to deal with all the regulations about the 10 seconds. You have to wait until you can use a waypoint or a town portal again. So this is all part of the game. I cannot stress this hard enough. People can actually react on that, okay? They can react on that. The very least they can do is to press the escape key and hit the leave game. And this is in under a second, okay? Of course, you can also choose to like try to open a town portal and escape, but this is actually pretty stupid. Or you can fight back which is nothing out of the crazy, or this is not a crazy idea. Again, what you have seen and what I'm doing, like if a level 58, 59 is approaching a level 90 or 95 character, yes, he can kill me. Actually, that is what happened. A level 95 paladin just one shot me, okay? Doesn't matter how, actually, but I was dead in one shot. And, and many other characters that high level can do that as well. I'm not overpowered, which is another thing uh, people claimed and they said, oh, I'm so overpowered and people don't have a chance with their PVM gear. Such nonsense. Do you really think a level 90, 91 or 95 character is under-equipped? Do you really think he's running around with Saigon's set or whatever? Of course they are godly equipped in that, in that uh, level area. And of course, Almost everyone can pretty easily kill me off if he decides to fight back. There is a huge risk in dying for myself or for anybody who is approaching so much higher character levels. And yes, yes, I am decently equipped as well. I mean, of course I am and I'm not godly equipped. That's just impossible at level 59. Um, the biggest, the high-end gear, the biggest things I'm gearing up if I use that character is an OM and a low rune, okay, to make um, fortitude and and um, the call to arms. Yes, that is nothing easy to get, but I found way better things in the couple of weeks uh, since D2R is on the market, like two bears, one sir, one jar. And, and the Om rune, and the low rune was actually traded. Okay, just saying. This is no high-end, godly, unbelievable gear. It's decent, but nothing out of the market. Um, and again, 
approaching such huge level characters doesn't matter what they are equipped for they are not uh, chanceless um, if they decide to fight back as we actually just seen in the video also yeah I think uh, yeah, I wanted to say one more thing about the honor thing I mean I could totally understand I could completely understand if people get mad if I was using things like what people call or used to call uh, the TPPK thing yeah? when people open up a town portal and then uh, casting a spell before that and in a split second using a third party application even cheating in that way hostiling another player and he's instantly dead without doing anything he can't react he can't do anything he's just dead okay that's a complete different ball game or if you're actually using cheats and hacks what people also always were doing over the past decades i can remember for instance this druid hack when uh, the druid sets up a certain amount of skills and using a certain amount of items all the people in his screen would just freeze the clients will just freeze and he can just walk over them and kill them for free this is the low stuff this is what i would call this is not honorable the, of course obviously right this is the really 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 bullshit but again what people like i were doing when PKing or when trying to like um, yeah PK other people this is just how the game is supposed to be played pressing the button to hostile a player everybody can see it everybody can hear it you can I can I, not, I do nothing what anybody else could do and on that concern that's actually the that, the last part I'm talking about here why I why I said that the the level 95 uh, paladin was a coward for like camping on the t on a waypoint and just smashing hammers over it this is actually the same thing as doing a tppk if you think about it okay this is like you're giving the other player n zero chance okay no chance L no not even the slightest chance of reacting in any way anyhow again I'm, i was talking about this in the beginning of this video not even pressing escape and exit or leave the game you can't do nothing that's just this is not honorable not talking about that he was freaking 35 levels above my character in that position and that is pure cowardness this guy is a coward and i'm staying to that topic uh, i'm staying to that statement he could just have said come on let's move out i will kick your ass and this would this would be honorable yeah and i would have taken that I wouldn't have said no to that I would have fought him even if I'm very well aware that I can die even in one shot probably I'm not scared of dying in a game in a computer game yeah I'm not I'm cool with dying and I'm I'm very well aware that this is part of when you're doing like things like this approaching it doesn't matter even if you're fighting against the same level characters or maybe even level characters below you but especially if you're fighting against particularly against very very high characters yes you can die guess what wow that's part of the game and i died hundreds of time um, over the past years and decades in the same fashion whoa no big deal i'm not going out raging um whatever jumping on the table pissing on my table crying my ass off Ooh, i died because of lag or whatever he camped the, the the waypoint even if i call him a coward i mean come on if you can't deal with that why do you even play this game or especially why do you even play hardcore especially if this is actually meant to be i still think this is a coward move like giving other people no chance not even the chance to like just quit the game which is the least thing everybody has escape exit done and if you don't even grant that then this is just the lowest thing you can possibly do and if you can't deal with um pking again at the game hardcore core mechanic then yeah this is just your own problem don't play the game please especially don't play hardcore and uh, yeah that's it and i will do this again especially in the new letter the first letter i'm watching out for you <laughs> knock knock <laughs>